What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Godly Potential YouTube channel with another video where we're reacting to a video. And this video that I'm going to react to is entitled, I want to say, it's five things that truly awaken people do versus pretending truly awaken people do. Somewhere along the lines. Once I go to the video, I can say the full name the way it is written on YouTube. But um you haven't watched this video yet, so I don't know what they're gonna say. Um who knows? I may be fake woke. <laughs> but we're gonna see what they talking about, see if it resonates at all. Um before we get into the video, I just wanna pretty much plug my Etsy store. So on the Etsy store I got a lot of spiritual apparel as well as spiritual tools on there. I have altar sets for ancestor altars. You can turn to a deity altar, but it's mainly designed for ancestor altars. It comes with like things like ancestor money, um, a picture frame for you to put pictures of your ancestors on there, and all of the elements that are required for an altar to work to run effectively. Um, I have spiritual cleansing oil, not spiritual cleansing, but spiritual oils. That are designed to raise your frequency. This is how the this is the godly potential high vibration oil, and it comes with Motivite as well as Herkimer diamond. You can see the Herkimer diamond in there as well as Motivite. Now the benefits on there are extremely potent, right? But if you go to the Etsy store, I'll tell you all about that. If you look in the description of it, now I do have a cleansing spray. As I mentioned, cleansing. This is the godly potential spiritual cleansing spray, right? It's all on the Etsy store. Um, other things are coming. Um, what else? Yeah, like I said, spiritual apparel on there. But if you're interested, be sure to check that out. As well as, for those who don't know, I am a spiritual life coach for beginners. Basically, anyone who's new on the spiritual path, I offer life coaching for that. You can check that out at my website at mygollypotential.com. I always that the link is in the description for all that. Um, yeah, just read through that if you're interested in any type of life coaching. I may be able to coach you through it. But without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, the title of it is Five Main Differences Between Truly Awakened People and Those Who Only Claim to Be Awakened. This is by a channel called Slightly Better. So let's get into it. Let's see what they're talking about. Number one, truly awakened people know that every person has their own way to be awakened. Somebody who's truly awakened is not willing to push other people to follow the path which he or she is currently taking. He understands that everybody should follow their own path. Meanwhile, a person who only claims to be awakened intends to provide you with a quick awakening program and then attempt to force you to do it. Okay, I get what they're saying. I understand. However, <laughs> I will say this. When you first begin your spiritual awakening journey, especially like the people closest to you, like your family, loved ones, and friends, like you're not going to be on the everybody should follow their own path thing. You might have that in the back of your mind, but you're like, look, wake up from this this matrix you're in. Like you you want to help them because you're they're your loved ones, right? You want to be like, look, no, what you're looking at is wrong. From your point of view, it's wrong, and you try to awaken them. Right, but eventually you will be like you know what? Look, everybody's on their own path, their own journey. We all came down here for different things. Like this person may not have came down here to spiritually awaken this lifetime. Maybe they came down here to just experience the earthly shit, right? Maybe they came down here to gamble, to try um, different drugs, to try like all kind of experiences. Maybe that's their main focus, the main purpose. So I do understand what they're saying, but I also feel like they are painting it as if like so if you are awakened and if you ever try to like help somebody out with pretty much without them asking for help that you're not truly awakened i don't agree with that full hearty 
I feel like they're looking at it from a standpoint that you're like um, a Mahatma Gandhi or you're um, you are um, a Buddha, like what was his name, Siddhartha Gautama, like the Buddha, like you like them, like you're um, Sat Guru, right? Like these people, they're extremely. Awaken. Like, it's the difference between awaken and enlightened, okay? I feel like they're talking about enlightened people. Awaken just means you just woke up from the matrix and you're starting to realize what the fuck's going on. Enlightened means you reach a certain level of spiritual growth and spiritual evolution, okay? So, just wanted to share that. You may be familiar with the words, believe me, if you just do it, then you'll be spiritually awakened. Well, it's just a total lie. You must not follow it, or at least you need to consider a lot before really doing it. A truly awakened person will just let other people develop their own ways, not forcing them to follow their ways. They only guide you when really necessary, but never force you to do anything. Okay. That kind of cleared it up. Yeah, like like I said, if, you, if you're just awakened or whatever, you, you're not forcing anybody. You're just trying to guide them, really. You're just giving them tips and tricks. Like, um, I just recently posted a video, five steps you can do to, um, start your spiritual journey. Like, that's not really me. That's not me telling you, like, you need to do this. I'm just sharing with people tips, right? The stuff that I did that helped me out and helped others. So. Number two, a truly awakened person always accepts criticism. People who are truly awakened don't get angry when somebody criticizes them. They're aware of their condition in which they're not perfect. They believe that they have their own space to grow and develop. So they don't need to be mad at other people who say bad things about them. Well, again, I feel like that I feel like they're kind of confusing awakened with enlightened. Okay? Because when you're awakened, when you first awaken, your ego is still intact, right? So if someone criticizes you, like and i mean criticize just like not giving productive feedback but just criticize you like oh that's stupid you're doing it wrong or you know you know people who really just 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 talking shit really so when it comes to that like like i said when, when you when you first awaken like period when you're awakened or you're enlightened you still have ego like ego is not bad but the ego will still be there so I feel like this is kind of misleading. Like, the ego is still going to get, it can potentially get, take offense to someone just criticizing you for the sake of being an asshole. <laughs> They'll accept it and will not say bad things about you. At least they're just silent and leave the conversation. On the other hand, those who only claim to be awakened are not necessarily able to accept criticism. Especially when people are questioning the truth of their awakening, they may get easily offended. Number three, truly awakened people will live their best life. Hmm. When you first awaken, you are searching for your purpose in life. So, them saying truly awakened people will live their best life, I believe they will begin to seek out what their best life looks like and then begin to pursue that. That is what I will say. Someone who's truly spiritually awakened will be feeling satisfied and excited with the place they live and with whom they're living with. In this case, these... What? <laughs> I don't know about this video, man. So... If you have a spiritual awakening and then you realize that you're in a you're in a place that's just not um, supportive or your change is not conducive to your growth, like you're not going to be happy. Like it's impossible. Like, no, it's just that's not how it's going to work. So, yeah, I feel like this video should have been titled five main difference between truly enlightened people and those who claim to be like enlightened or like fully it like um highly advanced spiritual gurus so to speak but we're gonna
gonna finish the video. These truly awakened people understand their noble goal in life and will not complain about their life as the fake awakened people do. True awakening means that you have to be mature. So if you can't be a mature person, you may only pretend to be awakened. In addition, fake awakened people may not know the real feeling of being awakened, but they just assume that they're awakened. A truly awakened person tends to be silent and doesn't necessarily want to tell other people that he or she's experiencing a, a spiritual awakening. Number four. Yeah, I, I, I kind of agree to that. I mean, yeah, you're not going to just go around and say, oh, I'm awakened. No, nah, you're not going to say that. However, um, when you are going through a spiritual awakening and you have questions about stuff, and if people or yeah, if others may look at you as being crazy, you might like, look, no, I'm not crazy. I'm just, I'm just going through an awakening, right? It's not saying that, no, I am awakened, you know, like I am spiritually evolved. No, that's not how you're going to go about it. But. They are not selfish and materialistic. People who are truly spiritually Yeah, I, I think I'm done with this video. <laughs> like, no, they definitely got enlightenment mixed with spiritually awakening. Because it said, um, they're not materialistic. Or any of that stuff. Look, I'm not a materialistic person, right? But the ego is still there. And materialistic means you care about nice material thing it's not like it consumes your whole reality but like look you're gonna want a nice phone you want a nice you're gonna want a nice clothes you're gonna want a nice a nice car right it's not priority number one but they're making it seem like if you care about anything materialistic that you're not awakened that you're fake woke <laughs> so to speak so i don't know i feel like this video is misleading um maybe i should look through these videos before i post them but I don't know. Credibility kind of going down. So, I might look around for other videos. But then again, like I said, I didn't watch the video before I made it. But, uh, who knows? Based off their um, description, I may be fake aw awaken, right? Everything that I've been through is, is, is all in my head. It's all for clout. But, hey. Yeah, I mean, I would just, if you if you, if you got anything out of the video, I would take it as with a grain of salt, you know? Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But tell me what you guys think about the video, right? According to that, are you awakened or are you just pretending? I would like to know. But if you enjoy these type of videos, where I react to videos. Let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Like I said, check out the Etsy store. All oh, that links will be in the description. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.